hello all in this video we are going to see how can we point a particular mapping to a different session or the workflow or vice versa that is a workflow or a session to a different mapping so let's say in this case uh, we have a mapping called m underscore parameter file uh, let's check the dependency to which workflow and the session it is pointing to so it is pointing to workflow ff load and uh, inside that a session s underscore m parameter file so now for some reason I want to modify the code uh, of this particular mapping so instead of if instead of uh, doing these changes in the original mapping I am creating a copy of that mapping uh, rename so in a new mapping let's assume that as a development mapping I have modified something let's I um, have changes done done some changes in a Java code. Uh, okay, instead of count three, I modified that to five. I have saved the mapping. Now, if you check the dependency of this new mapping. workflow and session now this mapping is not pointing to any workflow or the session now in order to test our changes we either have to create a new session and a workflow or we can point this mapping to our existing workflow now in order to point this mapping now if you check this session as we seen earlier this is pointing to our original mapping now in order to point this session to a new mapping will invalidate the original mapping okay let's change this from double to date time so if you check now the status of this mapping is invalid even this symbol changed here so now the mapping is invalid just go back to your workflow and that corresponding session just validate this session let me check it out now since this the corresponding mapping is invalid we got a pop-up uh, the mapping this is this associated with this session is invalid you can attach a different mapping to this session or you, you I means that means it's asking you to assign a different mapping to a uh, different mapping to this particular session or you change your uh, original mapping and validate that so that uh, session will be validated so as as you can see this is the original mapping which is currently in invalid stressless and this is the dev mapping which we want to test so let's select this mapping done so now if you see this workflow is pointing to a new development mapping if you go back to a mapping designer if you go to de dependencies and select check out workflow and session so now the development mapping or the new mapping wherein we modified something the java code is now pointing to a workflow and if you let's go back to the original mapping change this date time data type again back to double save it mapping is in valid state and now you should check the dependency of this original mapping workflow session it's not pointing to anywhere else so that's how we can point a particular mapping to a differentiation or the vice versa thanks for watching this video